Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video we'll be going through Sunbridge Expert on Solo and especially for this video um, I won't be doing the gate switching method to win the game I'll be I'll, I'll make sure that the gate will be destroyed and yeah it will make things a little bit tougher so follow this if you want to have a little more challenge in doing your map. The gate switching is a lot more simpler than the advanced version because the only creeps that come or the only twilight that comes out from the gate in expert if you do the gate switching is probably like one twilight archer or one twilight minion and an archer. Yeah so that's pretty much it that comes from the gate. Bring me to the next point that uh, I'll be creating a challenge series videos for some of the expert campaign maps if some of you are veteran players who want to finish the expert map with some difficulty yeah so do stick around if you want to do some bridge the harder way once again if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel yeah so without further ado let's get on with the video Playing a frost tier 1 for this. Uh, usually, frost defense is a lot better, so yeah. I summon a few master archers first to destroy this twilight infestation base so that they won't spawn any more twilights for us to defend. Construction hut to make the building's uh, defense towers a lot cheaper and our future. Tier 2 and Tier 3 defense towers will be cheaper as well and they'll be built a lot quicker. Yep. So after you destroy the camp, you want to move up here to kill the slaver. But I won't get the well first because we need the power at the start. Yeah, so just keep spamming the defense tower and have some uh, Warden Sigil it will be very useful to prevent your towers from getting destroyed yeah. so after killing the slaver you get your master archers back and when the wave comes uh, you should spawn a one imperial to deal more damage to the medium units especially the twilight crawler because of the reduced damage from spells and range attacks so make sure your imperial is uh, has this ability on resilient takes 50% less damage and for the warden sigil you want to make sure that no building is blocking the this blue wave because if something is blocking you can't use the ability on the building yeah, so when the tower gets destroyed just keep rebuilding it this amount of units will keep spawning so as you can see the cave over at Mora will keep spawning this one will be slightly stronger for the twilight After a while they will stop spawning for like about a minute or so That's when you should push and get your second orb Yeah you also want to try to get the powers at the sides Even though this game will take uh, longer than usual but you don't need a juice tank As you can see uh, it's slightly more than the usual power well 600 but this is 900 and this is 1200 Yeah, so this defense tower tactic is sufficient to defend your base. I would not suggest using like uh, other towers like Northern Keep because it has it deals lesser damage and it's more costly. Yeah, so I wouldn't suggest it. And people build it for the ability, but you don't need. Let me just keep. Yeah, so as you can see, the wave stopped coming. So this is when you must start to push ahead to get your second orb 
yeah, it's just starting to spawn. But before it comes, you have to destroy as much as you can. If you wait too long, the ways will start to get a bit stronger. Just gonna fast forward this portion. Yeah, so you always want to have two Imperials. Uh, one minimum, but two is ideal to get rid of the medium units. Always make sure to be aware of the map and uh, because if you okay, let me sh re just remove the uh, let me just show you the four four. You can see when the units are coming from this area. So you have to be observant of when a twilight army will come, so they can retreat back to your base. So it's pretty much the same thing. Try to skip to the part where I get my second op. That's where things start to get tougher because of even though you have the wall you cannot build as much tower as there are a lot of obstacles around like around the area. Yeah. And like this your towers are quite packed so it deals a lot of damage whenever the enemy comes. Once you destroy about half the wall, the entire thing will just collapse. Once you kill all the units, quickly get your monument and build up your wall. Yeah. I have no choice, I can't have my cannon tower yet, but yeah, once you have your tier 2, quickly build up your cannon tower. As you notice, I also didn't build my wells because I figured I needed the power, the extra power to build my cannon tower. Look at all the units coming. Once you get the second orb, somehow the army just keeps coming. So once you see that if your base is secured, you can start to destroy your first op defenses to gain back void power. And curse of oil is very important because you want to curse those archers. They can really deal of damage in such huge numbers. Yep, so once you clear the enemy quickly build up a whole row of cannon tower inside and outside the walls make sure to be observant of when they'll be coming through the minimap so that you know when to get rid of the twilight headcaster Yeah, this is a pretty long game, so I'll have a replace bit higher. Like the toilet keep attacking and I keep defending is the same thing. Alright, as you can see, the map is clear, so I have to quickly destroy the towers you might want to build a construction hut so that when your monument is up you can build your next tier tower but then this isn't a good idea because you haven't destroyed the tower so you can't build the orb I was thinking like some cannon towers would help delay the the twilight army or at least kill it off to a certain extent but 
Uh, you see later that I was wrong. Because it attracted the cam above. Yeah, and this is about three to four ways off Twilight. It's insane amount of enemy. I tried to build a hammer for to in hopes of saving my base, but it didn't work. So in this game you need to do so yeah, so in this game you need to do a lot of like spamming of units, spamming of towers. I mean, look at these enemies. The Twilight's are also spamming you with armies. Yeah, it's about like hundreds of them. It's crazy. Yeah, so if you want a challenge, this is the way to go. Look at the army. Look at them, destroying the walls like they are nothing <laughs> because of the huge army. So if you want to play this method, I recommend getting full charges on all the cards. I'm also playing on a budget deck, so having them all on full charge shouldn't be difficult at all. Unless you're a new player and you just need more money to upgrade your cards. But the Battleforge points shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, the next wave again, I tried to quickly establish a defense, but... The waves got a little bit stronger, the Devastator and Negator. Yeah, but it's quite rare for them to spawn, so not an issue here. Yeah, I saw that there's no enemy, so it's the chance to get your monument and quickly just spam your next tier towers here so they can hold up your monument. Yeah, I've accumulated so much power. But you see, after I build building all the buildings, my power will have decreased quite a substantial amount. With this amount of hammer for there will be no problem with defending your base. Because of the knockback ability and how your units will regenerate health because of the green affinity hammer for breeze of life. Yep. Restores uh, friendly units health. And I like how the hammer for has a very long range. Looking at this, you know that it's impenetrable. So you can destroy your cannon towers over at your, your the, the wall areas. Objective here is to clear while defending your base. I recommend using the Silver, silver Wind Lancers because it's quite tanky and it's a swift unit. Get a monument. Yeah, I recommend getting construction hard up again. Quickly build some buildings, but for tier 4, you will want more of the units to defend. 
Yeah, when you know that you can't defend, you quickly spawn a few of your tier 4 units before your orb gets destroyed. Yeah, so I have a giant room and a gem eye. I think my Gemma would die soon because I failed to heal it. Yeah, you can always go back to your Hammer 4 to heal. It's free healing. I attempted to establish my defense over at my 4th orb, but another wave came in. More like a few of them came in. Yeah, and my Gemma is gonna die. I'm trying to push my luck here, but it failed. You just never ending waves of Twilight. I tried to activate the orb through going by the back, but uh, it's quite difficult. And it probably will get destroyed once the next wave comes. So I have to find the perfect timing to get the orb up. I just hope that they, they stop spawning the twilight because I have no chance to get the orb back up again. Alright, finally we got it up. Yeah. So from this position, I know that I secured my fourth orb because it's only one wave rather than like three, four, five, six, seven waves coming in out of nowhere. And I've accumulated a lot of power through the many ways of attacking and not building anything. Yeah, so you have a healing gardens here so that your units will probably never die because of its regenerative aura of recovery 4% of maximum life every 2 seconds Alright, you want to use gem eye to destroy the, the shrine, the power shrine because of its long range, you don't need to clear the base afterwards you want to send your flying units over to Destroy the enemy power shrine on the right side. Speed it up. Because we don't have Gemma here, we have to kill a little bit of the base. Oh, that's an insane... Insane Twilight attack. But like I said, with your Hammer Force healing and the healing gardens, your units will probably stay alive for a longer period of time. Problem would be your op and your power well. Yeah, but you can see it's no problem. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, it's destroyed. Yeah, after destroying the power shrine you can relax a little bit on the twilight waves. Yeah, after destroying both the power shrines, the waves will die down a little. So it's this opportunity to attack Mora. A little mistake I did here was not uh, 
micromanaging my giant rooms. You want them to attack the Twilight Tree Fin uh, individually. micromanaging well yeah. we want to have one to attack the using an unholy hero so once the shield is down just aim Mora yeah so that's Sunbridge without using the gates method hope you guys enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe to my channel.